Hey guys, it's Beards and welcome to another episode of my How I series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I do Jack of Trades. So a couple of items that I use while I do Jack of Trades, and that is my Dragon Hatchet, my Bone Crusher, the Jack of Trades Aura, and the Karasi Sword. The Dragon Hatchet isn't really necessary, as you can use the Bronze Hatchet in your, um, in your tool belt, so it's not really that necessary. And the Bone Crusher is just to bury the... It's pretty much just to bury the bones after you kill the guards, which I'm going to be killing. So you can either use your bone crusher, or you can use your, or you can just pick up the bones and then bury them. Jack of Trades is an aura. It costs fifteen thousand loyalty points from the loyalty shop, and um, you can use it every twenty-four hours. And upon what is it activation, you can you have to gain XP in ten different skills. And once you do that, you can claim your reward. And a little thing like that. You can claim your reward and then you get XP in a certain skill of your choice. Karasi Sword is to use your magic attack as well as use the shared attack style, which is lunge, and then also gets XP in the HP, attack, strength, and defense. So let's get started. So basically you want to you want to activate your Jack of Trades and then you want to tell it to Varrock. However, that is not necessary as you can just pretty much activate your Jack of Trades while you're at the site that we're going to be. Just make sure that you have your Jack of Trades activated, otherwise this won't work and that's happened to me many times, so make sure that it's been activated. Alright, where we're going to do our Jack of Trades is at the guards west of uh, west of Varrock. So as you saw me, I teleported to Varrock and I just ran south from the Grand Exchange. However, if your teleport location is in the center of Varrock, you just want you just want to um, run a little bit west. So when you're here, you make sure you've activated your Jack of Trades. And when you've done that, you want to pickpocket a guard. Uh, once you've activated your Jack of Trades, you want to pickpocket a guard. Then you want to stab it. Make sure your, your attack style is set to lunge on the Karasi, and then you want to special attack it. And your bone crusher should just grind the bones automatically, so you don't have to go and pick them up and then bury them. And after that, you want to come down and chop this chop this oak tree. You want to light the first log you get, and normally you get about two logs from that oak tree. However, I failed, and I'm going to go chop down this tree over here. And then once you've once you've lighted that one, you want to craft this one into a bow. Once you've done that, make sure you right click your Jack of Trades and check Aura Time Remaining to ensure that you have done 10 out of 10 skills, otherwise you will not get a XP book. So once you've done that, you want to remove your Jack of Trades, and then you can just drop your longbow. Once you've done that, you can run to the center of Varrock, and you can talk to, I think it's X Yuan or something. Talk to this guy and then speak to him and he should give you an XP book. And I like to use my XP books on runecrafting. And as you can see, I'm going to receive 7,155 experience for that. And that was in about maybe a minute top. So, yeah, um, I really recommend getting Jack of Trades as you can do it in about, takes me about 30 seconds, actually. Yeah, it's about 30 seconds per one and um, you get about 7k XP, so that's... It's pretty decent. You can do that once a day. And the recharge time is 20, 24 hours exactly. So you can see 23 hours and 56 minutes remaining till I can do that again. So yeah, thanks for watching.